So to sum that up, if I were to choose which was more beneficial of the barbell bench press or the dumbbell bench press. What's going on everybody? Skylar Deem here, men's fitness coach. And in this video, we are going to be examining the differences between the barbell bench press and the dumbbell bench press. Which one is better? Which one is safer? We're gonna go through a couple different things and by the end, you're gonna know exactly which exercise to choose. So growing up, every Monday was International Chest Day and I would immediately go to the barbell bench. I feel like most men in today's day and age wanna load just a ton of weight on the bar and we just wanna press it up. But was that the right decision? So specifically today, I wanna cover three different things. So we're gonna cover safety, we're gonna cover muscle activation, and we are going to cover overall beneficial for strength. And so let's start with safety. So if we look at the big picture of safety, not only can we address like actual safety of just making sure you don't crush yourself, but we can also look at the safety of the shoulder and the chest and making sure that you're not putting yourself at risk for injury. Now, both exercises, of course, should be done with the correct form, because if they're not, you may put your body at risk for injury. So assuming you're using the correct form for both the barbell and the dumbbell, it may be a better idea to go with the dumbbell bench press. Now the dumbbell bench press is, first of all, you can bail, right? Like if you're holding weights and you get stuck and you don't have a spotter, you can easily just drop each dumbbell. Now, yes, if you're not well versed in kind of how to drop it or how to get up, it may be a little tough and you may actually put your shoulder at more risk of injury, but it's probably better than having a bar that's way too heavy for you to handle and no spotter and having that basically crush you. Along with that, the dumbbell bench press is also gonna be more healthy for the shoulder. Right, if we think about a bar and holding the barbell, when you do a barbell bench press, your hands are locked in place. Right, You are basically just putting one plane of motion. Now, yes, you can go up, you can go down, but your hands are locked in that place. Whereas with the dumbbell, you're holding the dumbbells and they can actually go left and they can go right. And so you're gonna activate the stabilizers in your shoulder, which is gonna allow for basically stronger stabilizers, which is better for your health. And so back when I was doing barbell bench press all the time, I never picked up dumbbells for bench press. And I actually found that my shoulders were super, super weak when it came to not only the shoulder press, but I actually ended up hurting myself because they were in such a vulnerable position and they didn't have that stabilizer strength. So while it may be a little bit more difficult to adjust to dumbbell, especially if you're used to doing the barbell, for the health of your shoulder, for overall safety, I'm going with dumbbells on this one. Category two is going to be muscle activation. Now, again, we're just gonna use logic here. And so if we look at the barbell, again, your hands are locked in place, and so you're usually having one specific range of motion. Well, with the dumbbells, not only can you come out a little bit wider, not only can you bring them to certain different levels, but when you come up, you actually have the ability to squeeze them, obviously until they touch, and activate the chest more. And so they've done a lot of studies on this and they have found that by using dumbbells, you actually can activate the chest more. Along with that, you're also going to have more muscular tension. So you can actually squeeze the chest a lot more if you're using dumbbells. And finally, you also have a longer range of motion. Right, You can come out down to the point with dumbbells where you can't really reach with the barbell because your chest is gonna stop it. And then finally, along with that, because each muscle is working separately, you're gonna have a lot better muscle balance than if you were, say, pushing up a barbell and having your left side compensate for your right because you're a little bit stronger there. And so the last category we're gonna talk about is overall strength. Now, there's a couple different aspects to this. The first thing I would say is that if you are loading up a bunch of weight on a barbell, because you're activating both chest muscles at the same time, you're gonna be able to push more weight than you would with dumbbells, right? If you can do 70 pounds with dumbbells, you can probably do a lot more than 140 pounds on bench. Personally, I can work up to about 100 pounds for three reps or so with dumbbells at the moment, and barbell I can do a lot more with 200 pounds on the bar. And so you can definitely add more weight. And so because of that, a lot of people tend to think that because they're stronger with the barbell, it's the better move for building strength, but that's actually not the case. So I actually found a study in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research where they measured the differences in strength gain and muscle activation with different football players with the dumbbell press, which is a bilateral movement versus the barbell press, which is a unilateral movement. And so this study references how some studies have indicated that unilateral leg training produces a higher hormonal response compared to the bilateral training, 
right? So like a squat would produce better testosterone results than say a Bulgarian split squat where you're using one leg. But it also says that other studies have shown that unilateral arm training produces no significant changes in testosterone levels when compared with bilateral training. And so the effect of unilateral exercise on hormonal response is pretty new. So basically further research is needed to confirm or refute previous findings. And they also do say at the end of this that it is possible that supplemental unilateral training could enhance muscular development to greater extent than bilateral training alone. And so a little bit of mixed information here, but it does make sense that if you add more weight and you can push a lot more weight with two extremities and rather than just using one, right, barbell versus say a dumbbell, it does make sense that you are going to emit more hormones, but the studies just aren't really there yet. And then the final pro of the barbell bench press that I would say is, you know, for example, my gym, the dumbbells only go up to 75. And so I can comfortably rep out more than 12 reps with 75 pounds unless I really slow the reps down. And so in that situation where my strength is kind of being maxed out with the highest dumbbells in the gym, it may be a good idea to every once in a while going over to the barbell so I can do a lot more lower reps, right? Six reps, eight reps to really build the strength and then also make sure I'm overloading the muscle. So a lot of information there. So to sum that up, if I were to choose which was more beneficial of the barbell bench press or the dumbbell bench press, I would probably have to go with the dumbbell bench press. And of course, implementing the barbell bench press here and there is probably a good idea. But if you are looking for overall strength development, you are looking for overall health of the shoulder and the chest, the dumbbell bench press is gonna be my go-to. So that is our conversation for today. Do me a favor and leave me a comment. What do you prefer, right? Do you prefer the barbell bench press or the dumbbell bench press? Let me know. And besides that, if you are looking for how to simplify the process of fitness and get in the best shape of your life, make sure to check the link in the description for a free guide we put together on how to use fasting, weight training, and mindfulness to see incredible fitness results. Besides that, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more. And of course, as always, make sure to eat smart, move more, sleep deep, and be grateful for this moment. I'll see you next time.